So then there are the particular ways in which George Galloway appealed to the voters of Bradford, which was an additional element in that, uh, in that Which were what? Well, George knows what it is. I mean, I mean what, how, when you've got a le campaign leaflet that goes out saying, God knows who is a Muslim and he knows who is not, instinctively so do you, sign George Galloway. And you think to yourself, how does George know that God knows who is a Muslim? Did God appear to you, George, uh, in tablets of stone? Was it written in fiery words on a stone wall or was it the burning bush this time? There is one God. There is one Islam. There is one Quran. Mr. George, I want to ask you one thing first of all. Or, or what, which religion you are? Not your business. Go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm ask, I want to ask you personal. Are you Christian or Muslim? That's none of your business. Go what? on to a, a, a proper question. Hello, guys. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Very good. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, George. Alaikum, brother. George, uh, can you tell me when you came Muslim, please? I'm not sure uh, that question is a uh, proper question, so go on to your next one. George, are you a Muslim, George? Uh, you're in Colombia or, or you're in Zambia, which? Zambia, Zambia, Africa. Zambia, Africa, my goodness. Zambia. Go ahead, never mind about my religious beliefs. Go ahead and tell us what you want to say. Yes, 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 George. Why I'm particularly concerned? Because your behavior is just that of a Muslim and the way you favor the Muslim world really impresses me, George. It's none of your business uh, what my religion is, Khan. God knows uh, what's uh, in everybody's heart. So, do you have a better point to make? No, thanks so much. Thank you. I believe there's only one God. There's only one Islam. There's only one Quran. God is great. The city with the mosque called Al-Aqsa from which the Prophet Muhammad ascended to the heaven to come back with the revelation uh, from the Al-Aqsa in which the Prophet, peace be upon him, ascended to the heaven and came back with the revelation. So we should have a law worldwide. Well, I, I personally am in favor of that law. I don't think that people should insult other people's religions. No good can come of it. A lot of hurt and harm can come of it. Religion is something at the core of human identity, and people should not uh, willy-nilly produce it. My point of view is that nobody should insult anybody else's religion. Of course, in this country there's freedom of speech, but it cannot be an unlimited freedom of speech. And other freedoms must trump it, including the freedom not to be terrorized in your own home, not to have your prophet insulted, your religion insulted. And it's dangerous to attack somebody's religion. They're saying they're atheists, but that's not the point. Well, it's unbelievably insensitive and provocative, yeah, Sarah. I, I know, mean, I, I you know, know nothing it, I mean, uh, about I mean, it. Maybe uh, others yeah. can phone in if they're equally angry, or maybe they support the right of uh, thousands of people to draw or paint the Prophet Muhammad, uh, which is, of course, a, a forbidden thing to do uh, in Islam. And uh, it would appear that some people haven't learned the lessons of the kind of trouble that such things have caused in the near uh, recent past. We say to these young angry Muslims, we know you're angry. You are right to be angry. We will stand with Iran and we will mobilize hundreds of thousands of people in Britain beside us. Take a look around you at this crowd. If you dare touch a hijab on a Muslim woman's head, if you dare, if you dare, if you dare touch the hair on the beard of a Muslim man in Tal Hamlets, you will have to fight your way through 10,000 dead bodies first. Thank you very much indeed. Where is the worldwide boycott campaign? And where is the attempt in the United States by the two billion Muslims in the world as opposed to what, 10, 12, 15 million Jews? So we can blame the United Nations and I do. We could blame the United States and I do. We could blame Britain and I do. We could blame the European Union and I do. I should uh, apply for the post soon to be vacant of Secretary General of the Arab League. Uh, I'm available if they want to engage me as the Secretary General of the Arab League. I could uh, certainly improve their position, I can uh, assure you. How many Muslims do you know who are 
around uh, Obama, apart from himself. Well, uh, quite a few, uh, as a matter of fact, and his father uh, was a Muslim, and his name is Barack Hussein Obama, and he understands the Muslim world very well. Thank you very much. The biggest terrorists are the United States of America and Great Britain, because they have made a Faustian pact with the devil, with the great Satan, the United States of America. The Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt has said that they will honor the Camp David Accords and the subsequent peace treaty between Egypt and Israel. I don't know how it's possible for someone in the Muslim Brotherhood to honor such a piece of treason against uh, Islam, the Muslim world. If anybody in Egypt is in any doubt, let me put them straight. It is vital that everybody in Egypt casts their vote for Dr. Morsi, the candidate of the Muslim Brotherhood. So all out for Dr. Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood uh, next week. That's what I say. There is one God. There is one Quran. There is one Islam. There is one Ummah. And I hope that you will join us one day, inshallah. Why did you say God knows who is a Muslim and he knows who is not? I, George Galloway, don't drink alcohol. I never have. I, George Galloway, have fought for Muslims at home and abroad all, all of my life. Now, why I wouldn't would... I say that? But I, I don't drink. I don't gamble. You say uh, God knows who is a Muslim and you point out that you don't drink. Uh, are you a Muslim? It's not really, it's not any of your business, Adam, and I really don't want to discuss my religion any further. Al-Aqsa from the roof of which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to the heaven and returned with the revelation. From the roof of Al-Aqsa, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to the heavens and returned with the revelation. Including the very mosque, Al-Aqsa, uh, from which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven, Islam would go on to become the largest and fastest growing religion in the world. When Al-Aqsa, from which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. On the birthday of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Man. On the birthday of the Prophet, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The place where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven from the roof of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. When Al-Aqsa, from which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to heaven. Where Al-Aqsa stands, from the roof of which the Prophet Muhammad ascended to the heaven, and returned with the revelation. Can you believe it? I'd say no, fuck you. <laughs> I believe in God. I'm a religious man. I don't know how we can trust you because uh, we, we know you as a uh, like, uh, Christian uh, consecutive uh, politician. Uh, you are advocate for Islamic world. I don't know how it does the interest you of your politician or you are, uh, uh, yourself is, uh, is like this. Uh, we well, don't know. Well, How do you explain well that? thank you. Thank you for calling from Columbus, Ohio to insult me. First of all, you know nothing at all about my religious beliefs, so please don't uh, pretend to do so. Just one question I want to ask you, George. Are you practicing Islam or are you a Muslim? Uh, but wh why would that be any of your business? Magic? No, no, it's not my business. It's, I well, and if it's not your business, why are you calling up the show and uh, asking uh, about it? Can we get some serious discussion and some serious questions? The religion you belong to. Because I do a regular program where you believe the religion you believe. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure uh, what business that is uh, of yours. Just know that I believe in God and that there's only one God and no God but God. Arranged marriages are actually much more successful marriages than the marriages in the non-arranged field. Trust me, I know about that. Don't you dare tell me what I purport to be. You're not the judge of my religious beliefs. So what are you then? It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's God's business. You've now go always, ahead. You have said before go ahead. Go ahead. This was a woman who behaved foolishly, calling an animal, albeit a toy animal, Muhammad, I have never 
been in favour of liberalism and free speech. I'm not in favour of free speech, unlimited, untrammeled free speech. I deny you the right to freely speak. I don't believe people have the right to slander other people's religions in so-called cartoons that are really racist posters. I don't believe in that kind of freedom of speech, you see. An Israeli soldier in his tank, the Grim Reaper, uh, standing frustrated, shouting, stay away from my business, and the Israeli tank commander saying, we'll be back. That not only were you the Prime Minister of Palestine, that you were our Prime Minister too. I'm a teetotaler, and if I had my way, we, we wouldn't have any alcohol in the country at all. Inshallah, see you next week. The days are gone when what America will or will not allow is what matters. This is, a, this is a paper tiger. This is a paper tiger, the United States. If the people rise up, stand up, then believe me, that paper tiger will be able to do nothing except accommodate itself to the new realities. I'd be uh, honored to live and work in either Iran or Venezuela or Cuba. I've been with the Arabs uh, so long uh, that uh, I'm practically one of them. Do you, do you, though, condemn those who attack British troops? In of course I don't. Prince Harry was saying on the television he was engaging the enemy. I don't know about you. I don't have any enemies in Afghanistan. I didn't declare war on anybody in Afghanistan. The Taliban are no, not an enemy. No, uh, no, they're not an enemy to okay. me. With their Kalashnikovs. With the likes of the most of weapons. ويستعملون الأسلحة البدائية يكتبون أسماء مدنهم وقراهم على النجوم indeed of this magnificent welcome given to us by the people of Saddam City, Baghdad. Ruler and George are in the seating area discussing Saddam Hussein. But, but the meeting was between me and him. I asked to see him. But was he hated by the people? Not at all. Not at all. To greet Saddam Hussein in 1994 in Iraq and to salute him for his courage That's another and one. his interfatigability. You lie again. His... Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. I can honestly tell you that there was not a single person to whom I told I was coming to Iraq and hoping to meet with yourself who did not wish me to convey their heartfelt fraternal greetings and support. You're a bunch of liars. Will you... I am not an admirer of Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein will live in history long after these dogs. <laughs> He ad hominem attacks right from the start, putting words in my mouth that I never spoke. Uh, you never said that. No, you're telling me you not, never said right, that. Not about Saddam. I didn't, and you know you very stood well. Next to him and said, you know, Sir, I you know I'd salute very your well that I didn't. Well, Do me a what's lemon. Your version? If you stand next to someone and say, Sir, I salute your courage and indefatigability, no, no. what on earth are you doing apart from I'm saying not. that? Your Excellency. Very nice to see you again. Uday was renowned for his brutality and is believed to have personally tortured thousands of people. I would like you to know that we are, we are with you till the end. After July, he condemned me for what I said about President Bashar. For me, he is the last Arab ruler, and Syria is the last Arab country. The reason that Syria is facing this crisis is not because of any bad thing which Syria has done or any weaknesses within its democracy. Israel is indeed a gangster terrorist state. Its days are numbered. They might not be numbered in days or weeks or months or even years. I interviewed His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. I have police protection in London from the 
Iranian opposition because of my uh, support for your election campaign. Uh, 